I just got it. I did. <laughs> this is the second largest Quaker meeting house in the world. Uh, the largest Quaker meeting house is in South Africa. I don't know what you do with that information, but you got it. Let's go. Flemish Bond! <laughs> this is the grave of Ben Franklin. Ben right? Franklin was a So that dirty city, Boston, right? In like, uh, I don't know, 1830. Like, yo, you guys can't even go see Ben Franklin. You guys are dirt balls. We're gonna take up, we're gonna dig up his body and put him in a cemetery in Boston. You guys don't do them right. So then, uh, what the, the guy, Mathis Baldwin, who started Baldwin Locomotive, put this fence in as an F you to Boston, saying, yo, we're keeping the dead guy right here. And that's why Ben Franklin's here. People come by, they leave a penny, take a penny. Oh, that's not a saying. No. Penny, take a penny. <laughs> no. A penny, a penny, a penny, a penny. Or leave a penny, take a penny. Uh, zoo, the Philadelphia Zoo, he's buried in here. Uh, five signers of the Declaration of Independence are in here. Francis Hopkinson, he's the designer of the American flag. Betsy Ross who? He's buried here. The uh, doctor of, uh, the, the first doctor of American psychiatry, uh, Dr. Physic, he's buried in here. Or was he surgery? It doesn't matter. Don't write a book wrong. He's buried here. <laughs> the most important burial ground in America. Without these people buried in here, we would not have this as a nation today. Oh! All right! All right, across the street is the, um, that's the mint, the United States mint. It's the largest coin making factory in the world. Wow, oh, right there. The, 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 uh, the Medal of Honor, all those medals they made. Wow. The soldiers, they all get printed in there. When the world's oh, open. I didn't know that. Wake her up, OJ, all getting on. Oh, oh, chaos in the head. Oh, no. Come on. You gotta wait. Come on, the guy, the guy, the guy, the guy in the van. Come on. Uh, Quakers, have you ever been to a Quaker church? They don't have priests. They just, they, what they do is they just sit in church, right? They have leaders. If you feel like you got the spirit, you stand up and you preach. There's no way I would do that. Look, I, would, I would just think everybody's crazy. Just sit down. I don't, but the sooner you guys shut up, the sooner church is over. Well, they have assigned leaders. They do have leaders. That's, I mean, that's how I always look at church. I got to get out of here. Everybody, everybody, you get the cameras out. This is the house from real world Philadelphia. <laughs> All right, let's go. Real world Philadelphia? Real? She did make the American flag. She made it up there. Uh, the second floor window was if somebody keeps their head in there. They saw her making the American flag. She would have been killed for the street. She seems like a badass. Like she made bullets in here. She was part of that Quaker church. So even if she didn't design the American flag, she should still be celebrated for being like a badass. See this? What kind of streets this? Tiger, what kind of streets this? No, it's not cobblestone. <laughs> a, a stone. It's Belgian block, that's right. I don't know how you guys are doing it without the kill. Booty, alright? How's the, uh, how's the boys? You want to be alright? They're good, they're good. Okay. Love it, Sean. Back in the day, there used to be like fabric row, restaurant row, uh, boathouse row. There's all types of rows, right? Row, row, row your boat. Back in the day, this used to be restaurant row. Uh-oh, here it comes. <laughs> so if you look up here on, like, on this, this uh-oh, we're gonna, uh, there we go. Can I say it? I'll, uh, I'll call you guys. So if you look up, what are you gonna do? Shit. There's a restaurant advertising. They still do uh, restaurant stuff. Some of these new and used restaurant equipment. Down the street, they sell bar stools. Uh, there's Coke Road condominium. That's something they do nowadays. Something that used to be something. They now make them condominiums. Repent now. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on now. There is only one way to heaven. There is this invention. This guy in Canada built the robot called Hitchbot. It was this robot that you would pick up, and it, the guy had like a GPS in it, and he would, this robot traveled all around the world. It went from Canada to South America, and then one day, Hitchbot ended up on the corner of Alfred's Alley, smashed and broken to pieces. Let's go see the final resting spot of Hitchbot. People talk about Alfred's Alley like it's a historic place. I don't even care about the old buildings. Let's go see Hitchbot's spot. This is the final resting place of Hitchbot. I mean, George Washington slept there. Hitchbot died here. Is the original ring doorbell. That is called a Bizbot. So most of the house is back in the 70s whatever. The bottom part of the house is so this guy, let's say this guy, I know, he's a pot dealer. And let's say he's got a guy, and, and the tax guy is coming, right? So he sees the tax guy, so he tells the girl, yeah, I just stash the tax guy here. And he, he would only answer the door. You don't want to answer the door. Plus, if also, you ever see those old ladies always popping their heads out the window? A busy body. Right, you ain't got to do that, because you can look down the street. Busy bodies. I think Ben Franklin invented it, too. Is really there's only eight streets like this in the city of Philadelphia. This street is paved. Get ready, folks. Buckle in. <laughs> it's paved with blue bricks. There's red brick streets. There's there's Belgian block streets. And in Philadelphia, there are eight blue brick streets. Here's a little bit of footage of the blue brick street. If you want to see a video about all the goofy streets in Philadelphia, I have a video called Streets of Philadelphia. I will have it pop up at the end of this video. We kind of abandoned for the last 30 years. And then? And then there is this musical in New York. It's called Alexander Ham. Oh, no, it's just called Hamilton. Here, I'll sing it. Alexander Hamilton. They call me Alexander Hamilton. <laughs> just you wait, just you Right across the street. That's where Alexander Hamilton's office was when he was treasurer of the United States. It was a little two-story building. Because of that building, that little two-story building with Alexander Hamilton when he was treasurer of the United States, that building was built. That is the first bank of the United States. You see that eagle up there? That's the first time an eagle was used on a federal, uh, federal building. That's the first time we ever used an eagle in one of our buildings. The bank was in there. It was supposed to be a gorgeous stone. Uh, for 30 years, the park rangers used this as a storage facility. Alexander Hamilton was so popular that usable that they started refixing it up and uh, it's going to be redone. Back in the 18, 1790s, there was a thing called the yellow fever epidemic. Uh oh. It was like, it's like, it's like what we just went through. Well, the yellow fever is no doctor. It's even scarier, right? So, this was Doc Crick. And it was, this Crick would come down here, over there, and go right to the Delaware River. So, people who live in these houses here, when they would take a, you know, a number one and a number two, they would dump it in that Crick. And, you know, the PP and poop would go to the Delaware River. Also, people who own uh, leather shops and tanneries and stuff, they would just dump the hides in that, in that dirty creek. The combination of PP, poo, poo, kale hides, that it caused this, this epidemic. It started right there. So once in a while, you'll see people, like, laying out with the kids, walking their dogs. Pretty much, that's the Wuhan uh, laboratory. Where they so those are just some of the fun facts uh, people learned on my first meet and greet history tour. Uh, there will be other tours coming in about eight weeks. I'm going to try to do a tour every two months. It's fun and not the same tour, a different tour. So it, you know, it's not going to be the same thing. It's going to be fun. So thank you for everybody who came out. You made a dream of mine 
come true. I wanted to be a tour guide two years ago, and guess what? It happened because you guys came out, and I, I really hope you had a good time because I had a good time. So uh, make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll sail with you later. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Doodles!